Alex, I'm Maylee, and I'm Ashley, and, and this is your Bulldog Newscast. The dance was last Friday. Let's go to an interview with someone who went. Did you enjoy the dance? Yes, I thought it was a lot of fun. What was your favorite part? I think my favorite part was when Chandler Decker got up on the table and sung Sweet Caroline. Thanks! I step is next week. Be sure to rest up and eat a healthy breakfast. The end of the term was last week. Be sure to get all your missing assignments turned in. Now to your feature. Hey Bulldogs, I'm Annie. And I'm Addie. And this is your Bulldog feature. Hey Addie, are you going on the DC trip? Yeah, I'm really excited. The first mandatory meeting was Friday, February 16th. STEM is working on the Rube Goldberg project. When they're finished, it will consist of about 40 individual machines. Let's go to an interview with Mr. Rachel and a student who is working on it. What is this project? This is 8th grade STEM science Rube Goldberg project. And it starts over here, goes all the way around. And it will end here where somebody needs to submit an assignment. So that is the end goal, to submit an assignment on Canvas. So let's start it. What is your project? Um, our project is the Rube Goldberg machine, which is like a big, long machine that's connected to each other. So like one thing sets off another, and it just at the end it achieves a like certain goal. How does it work? Our project is being uh, moved by Ryan and Foster's project, and then it launches a ball that hits the other person's project. Thank you. Great job, STEM. Bowl for Kids' Sake is in early April. You can still sign up to be on the team. National History Day is on March 3rd. Good luck to everyone participating. I-STEP is next week. Let's go to an interview with someone who knows more about it. When is I-STEP? It starts next week. On um, Monday, we need everyone to bring their iPads to school, and then we will practice going to our testing rooms Monday during advisory, and that's when we'll charge in all of our iPads so that they're fully charged for the next morning. Tuesday, we'll go to first period, but it'll be a short first period, about 30 minutes. And then everyone will go to their testing rooms. The first day, we'll do math and language arts, and then we'll have the rest of the day schedule as normal. Then Wednesday, same thing, little first period, and then we all go back to our testing rooms for a bigger language arts. And then Thursday is social studies for seventh grade only in your social studies class. What can students do to prepare for ISTEP? The best thing you can do is just get good sleep, have breakfast, and don't stress about it because it's not like you can study for I-STEP. It really is just meant to be a snapshot of what you know right now. So the best thing to do is just take your time when you actually have the test open in front of you and just do the best you can do because you're just showing what you know. Thanks. And now to your Bulldog Sports. Hey, I'm Ethan. Hi, I'm AJ. And this, this is your Bulldog, Bulldog Sports. Sports. Wrestling had County on Tuesday. They came in third overall. First place came Ethan Brokel, Carl Kearns, and Josh Demery. Swimming had a meet on Thursday. Let's go to some highlights. Basketball had two games this week, one on Tuesday. They took a dub. Now let's go to an interview with an eighth grader. How is the season going so far? The season's going great. I feel like we've improved a lot since the beginning of the season. What are your goals for the rest of the season? Um, I feel like we should just take one game at a time and take home a dub for county. Thanks. And now on to your brain trainer with Ms. Davis. Hey! Your brain trainer for the week is brought to you by the English department. I want you to use your powers of inferences and clues to figure out what part of speech am I demonstrating. So that's what I'm looking for is an answer. What part of speech am I demonstrating? Hmm. Gosh! Sure hope somebody will get this. Oops! Um, wow! Uh, 
Sure, if you know it, uh, geez, uh, contact Mr. Rutkin. Submit your answer at room 220. Now on to your weather. Saturday will be rainy with highs of 60s and lows of 40s. Sunday will be sunny with highs of 50s and lows of 30s. Now to your flashback Friday. Hi, I'm Morgan. And I'm Morgan. And this is your Friday morning newscast. This week, 20 students, including us, have come from Bourne Community College to see Bachelor Middle School. We have really enjoyed our time here at Bachelor, especially the after school activities and seeing the differences between our school and here. We have been taking part in a range of activities, including the visiting the RU campus and their athletic facilities, taking a trip to Indianapolis to see the Lucas Oil Stadium and playing American sports.